Matt Blick from Beatles Songwriting Academy here with a book review of this book, Wonderful Today, uh, the autobiography of Patty Boyd with uh, Penny Juna doing the heavy lifting, no doubt. Patty Boyd, who he? Well, she is the woman that inspired her husband, George Harrison, to write this song. <laughs> tones a little better than mine uh, and she inspired Eric Clapton to write this song about her when she was still married to George Harrison Ooh, bit of drama <laughs> and when she was married to Eric Clapton she inspired him to write this song about her So, she's a rock legend. Okay, so just some general points. Uh, pretty good book, well written. Uh, she's had, led an interesting life, as you can imagine. Uh, she was brought up in Kenya, uh, came over to the UK uh, as a teenager, I think. Became a fashion model, uh, got a job as an extra in A Hard Day's Night, a film where she met George Harrison. They got married. Um, she uh, was pursued vigorously by Eric Clapton. Eventually she left Harrison and went with Clapton and got married. Uh, and she's done some interesting stuff since. So what did it tell us about the Beatles though? That's my area of interest with this. Um, not a lot to be honest. A little bit of insight into George Harrison's character. Um, but not, not a lot. And she was at Rishikesh so she um, Rishi Kesh, or the heart of, heart of uh, smelling. Uh, so, and she's got some inside gossip on that incident. Um, but uh, yeah, not a lot really. She has this to say, which is interesting. And um, to in have inspired Eric and George before him to write such music was so flattering. Yet I came to believe that although something m about me might have made them put pen to paper, it was really all about them words. It's quite honest and down to earth. Um, basically, Clapton and Harrison were both serial adulterers. If you look up to uh, musicians as role models, it's probably best not to read this book. Harrison uh, had affairs with uh, Ronnie Wood's wife and Ringo Starr's wife. And uh, Clapton fathered at least two children, uh, according to this book, while he was married to in fact, uh, he married her as a result of a drunken bet. A couple of things I found interesting. One is the complete bubble that they lived in as uh, artists. Um, Eric Clapton didn't even take his own driving test, didn't even have his own uh, jabs when he went abroad. He had somebody else <laughs> have them for him. Uh, just some other bearded guy, I presume. Um, and uh, she says uh, when she got to the age of 43 that she had never paid a utility bill in her life, didn't know how to use a London Underground, didn't know uh, how to tax and insure a car. These people lived in complete bubbles. Every whim was taken care of by managers. Um, Harrison, when he proposed to her, uh, said, shall we get married? let's ask Brian and then immediately went to ask Brian Epstein if that was okay and then at that point said Brian says it's okay let's get married. It sounds like she's left destitute by her divorce from Clapton says I've got a modest flat and a modest uh, income <laughs> but then a few uh, pages later she says I needed desperately needed some repairs on the cottage and uh, Eric gave me some money, otherwise I would have had to sell the flat or dip into my investments. And then a few pages after that she says, I bought a beach and paid a man to look after it. So it's not quite your riches to rags story, but there you go. <laughs> 
The other thing that was really interesting was just the effect that uh, the Hinduism or the particular brand of Hinduism that uh, Harrison embraced, the effect it had on him as a person, uh, which I was really surprised at. She introduced Harrison to, and in all the Beatles, uh, to the Maharishi. She was a, the earliest adopter of them all, of that um, kind of uh, religious philosophy. So I don't think there's any bias here, but she basically says that Harrison became uh, someone that was un impossible to live with uh, once he came back from Rishikesh, that he veered between uh, binging on cocaine and then binging on meditation and, and, and sadly says that the only time you could speak to him and have a uh, normal conversation was when he was on cocaine and partying. Wonderful today, Patty Boyd with Penny Juna, interesting read, not a lot of uh, fresh insights into the Beatles or George Harrison, more about Eric Clapton, a lot about 70s rock star bubble, that floats your boat, go get it. Matt Blake, Beatles Songwriter Academy, check out the blog for more reviews. Peace out. Just ask me why. I think my dinner's ready. Let's just have a look. Dinner's ready. Result. <laughs>